Hi guys, this is Omer. I'm back with another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be talking about web scrapping. Uh, nowadays, every website, uh, almost every famous website or big websites provide APIs to fetch the data like Facebook provide APIs, Twitter provide APIs, Google, LinkedIn. Like if you want to fetch all the tweets posted in any particular date from Twitter, Twitter provide APIs that we can use uh, to fetch the data or all the tweets from the Twitter. But before APIs or, or, or what about those websites that don't provide APIs? Uh, and before APIs were introduced, uh, people used to fetch the data from websites uh, using web scrapping. So what is web scrapping? Web scrapping means uh, to fetch the data and read HTML of any particular page of a website and fetch the data from that HTML. So I'm going to be talking about a few important Chrome extensions. Chrome extension is a big, big store. Uh, you must be using uh, different uh, and analyzing different uh, extensions of the Chrome and that will make your life pretty easier. Okay. So uh, I will be showing you two important uh, extensions that is Scrapper and Web Scrapper. Uh, Scrapper is easier one. Let's say that I have opened links for all the animated uh, films in 2007 that won the Oscar award. And what if I want to fetch the title of all uh, the movies on this page rather than copying and pasting on the Excel file or if you want to fetch the data or uh, like the rating of all the movies uh, like the description of all these movies uh, rather than copying and pasting we should uh, make things pretty fast and easier for us okay so first of all you need to search scrapper in the chrome web store uh, and add to chrome so add extension scrapper has been added so you can see at the top scrapper has been added in our bar so let's go to our best animated film let's reload this link because my chrome extension just been added so to get the data the title of all these movies it is pretty easy like let's select this make sure you don't select the spaces on the right or left and right click and it will show a scrap similar okay so what it's gonna do is it's gonna detect all the html elements uh, with the same class with the same element name on this page and get the data and show us in a tabular form so click on this so you can see that it has scrapped all the titles of the movies there are 23 so let's copy this rating and right click scrap similar it's going to fetch the data and show us the rating of all these movies that are shown in this particular page and this uh, scrapper extension is pretty helpful if you want to fetch the data of one page what if you want to fetch the data of multiple pages that has click events as well like i have opened a website whatmobile.com.pk uh, we have a home page that has this url and after that we have these brands samsung mobile huawei mobile q mobile nokia lenovo and if i click on samsung it has its mobiles and if I click on Huawei mobile, it has its mobiles. So what if I want to fetch the data of all these brands after clicking on these links and going to each and every page of any brand and fetch the title of mobile or a price of that particular mobile. And we can go further as well to get the detail of any particular mobile. Okay, so for that, I'm going to show you the most important of plugin or extension of the chrome that is web scrapper you just need to search scrapper it will show it the third place or just directly search web scrapper so add to chrome and add extension it will install this extension in your bar of your chrome and i'll be showing you and giving you an idea of this extension using this link so let's go out back to our whatmobile.com.pk let's close this tab and close these tabs as well so we have this home page so right click and click on inspect and you can see it has been added in your top bar of your inspect window okay it will not be showing or uh, selecting any element or right clicking and it will not be showing just like the scrap similar instead uh, it takes more advanced functionality it takes the navigations as well uh, so it is very helpful uh, to do web scrapping from here 
So first of all, what we need to do is we need to create a sitemap. Sitemap needs a default or a home URL from where I need to start the scrapping and any particular name. So let's say mobile phones. We don't need to add the space in the sitemap. So create sitemap. Okay. So we have the root directory and now we need to select the elements on this particular page that from where we need to start first of all i need to select all these brands and the type of these uh, titles is a link because this is the link we want to find the text of this brand as well and we want to click on each and every brand and navigate to separate page and fetch the data of individual mobile phones okay so we are at the root so first of all we need to select these brands so uh, we are under the root and we need to click on add new selector and we need to give any name like brands okay and this is a link so we need to select the type of an element that what is the type of this element we need to click on this link and then uh, we need to select the element so select and we can click on the elements like click on the samsung mobile click on Huawei mobile and it's going to detect all the elements having the same classes from the HTML and select all the similar elements. If we go down, we can see that it has selected all the brands uh, from the right bar. Okay, so we need to click on done selecting from here. So this is the type A link. It has selected uh, this link from that right side and these are the multiple or the single elements so we need to check the, these are the multiple links okay and this brand is under the root okay so we need to save selector okay so now under the root we have selected all the brands so what uh, before going further to individual pages i want to show you the selector graph we can see we have a tree or a hierarchy based of all these elements we have the root and after that we have the brands okay and let's try to fetch the data so click on this drop down and click on the scrap and uh, leave it as a default setting so start scrapping so it's going to open that link and it's going to scrap all the brands of this website so at the bottom you can see that uh, it has scrapped all the title of these links because that was a link so it understands and fetch the link of all these brands as well along with the title so this is the vivo and it has fetched the link of that vivo page as well so this is pretty powerful now we need to navigate to uh, each page using this link that it has provided us okay so let's click on this and click on selectors so this is the brand all the brands and in these brands we need to click on this so we are inside all these brands because this this link refers to the link of all these brands okay if i click on this now we are under the links of samsung huawei mobile and all these brands okay so let's click on the samsung mobile so let's click on add new selector we need to fetch the title of each product so name it whatever we want uh, and this is of the text type and we need to select the title so click on select and it will show the this green highlight so click on this it will detect multiple elements of the same brand so we have fetched all the title and selected it so click on done selecting and click on multiple because the, these are the multiple titles and we don't need to write the regex or the delay and this title will be coming within this brand and that is uh, we need to understand that these are the title of all these brands okay so save selector so we have selected the title if i go to select graph we have the root and under the root we have brands and each brand have the title so all the brands have multiple titles and that will be fetched using this scrapper okay we can also fetch the 
price and the image and we can also uh, add a link selector to these uh, uh, images and navigate to the other page so but for just giving you an idea I'll just fetch the title because uh, if we want to fetch all the data and the detail page data it will take a lot of time so uh, for giving you an idea that is pretty much fine so click on this scrap and start scrapping it will open up each link of a brand and it will fetch the title of each mobile phone so let's wait for it so guys all the scrapping is done you can see that it has fetched the title of all the mobile phones along with the this link of this brand so this mobile belongs to this brand this mobile belongs to this brand and it has fetched a bunch of data so once it is fetched uh, we can export it in CSV format uh, we can export this site map if we want to give this site map to someone else to our friend uh, if he wants to fetch the data he can just uh, import that site map from here after getting it from you and just run the scrapper and it will fetch the data for them uh, everybody don't need to create the site map uh, because uh, it takes some time so uh, if you want to export in CSV, we can click on this export. So that was it. I hope you liked it and I hope that it will save your time if you want to get the data from any website. Uh, in the upcoming videos, I will use Node.js to scrap the data. That is more powerful. Obviously, if you are a programmer, you have control on and everything and we will have middlewares we will have controller services to fetch the data and if we have the uh, diff, uh, difficult layout of a website uh, but not this one uh, then we must know how to write a script to fetch the data and that will be i'll use uh, how to write asynchronous programming how to write uh, recurrent callbacks because in pagination uh, we need to write recurrent callbacks function so uh, stay tuned and if you know how to program then you uh, should follow me and hope to see you next series of web scrapping with node.js make sure you subscribe this channel and like this video and comment below if you have any question thanks for watching